Hi guys. I wanted to show you the calendar again because I I had it messed up. I had these highlighted November 21, 22, and 23, and they weren't. Um, so I, I just wanted to show you again what I'm seeing. April 15th, right here, I hope you can see my cursor. Um, it's in red. April 15th is the day I'm seeing for the four corners. The four corners is about the birds of prey um, or the phoenix rising. Um, it's the castle, which is your fortification. And it is also Christmas, December 25th. So April 15th is December 25th because April 11th was December 21. So April 15th is December 25th. Um, April 15th is tax day. Ap April 15th is Titanic sinking day. April 15th is my picture of the South Korean flag. I messed it up in yesterday's video and I said North Korean. It's the South Korean flag. And I had a prophecy fulfilled on that day where a ship went down off the coast of South Korea. And I had been seeing that in my pictures. That was April 15th, 2014. Okay. This time around, I'm looking at the Four Corners picture, which is a picture of the world. It's in the screen now, guys. A picture of the cosmos, a picture of the four corners, which are the four rooks, which are the kites. And I am seeing that as a date, a very important date, that if you have been in the floodwaters, your rescue ship is coming for you. This is also Christmas time, tax collecting time a census, which is a round up. It's calling all the heads, okay? Okay, so that's what I see for the 15th. I see it as Titanic sinking day, tax day, South Korean flag day. Hopefully we're transmuting that energy right now. And December 25th day which is the birth, the departure, the new mother, the new matrix, lots of stuff. Okay, then you guys, can you see my cursor? I don't know. But the next line, the top line, April 21 and 22 are highlighted in green. Okay, we know that on this timeline, what we have is we had the Gulf oil spill on the 20th of 2009. The oil spill is in my picture. We also have in this time period, Mercury exits his retrograde. And that's why it's important right now. Okay. This is the picture we're looking at. Here's the oil spill that happened on April 20th. This, it was also a discharge, a discharge, guys. So it is when you give birth. And you don't want to have, um, no, let me tell you what you do want to have. Y your baby wants to come out fully developed and perfectly fine and healthy, okay? That's what we want for the oil spill. It's also your anointing oil and um, your oil of joy. Now, what we had is September, the next line down was September 21 and 22, the next green spots, you guys, okay? Um, that was Elul 25 in September of 2022. Elul 25 is the day that creation began. That's when the Jewish people believe that creation began. Elul 25. So this is Genesis 1. 
all over again. We call it Genesis 2.0. The next line down, you guys, is December 30th, if you can see the yellow, and January 1st. Okay, December 30th, and the green one is January 1st. Again, it's a new year. Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year, the new year, January 1st. That's when the trumpets blow also, okay? So creation, a new creation, a new year. Uh, resetting the time clock. Okay. And then down in this level, I hope you can see the August, it's August 13 and 14 that I have highlighted in green next, August 13 and 14. On this day in 2023, I wasn't on YouTube, but Venus received her morning star. She went up and she had a conjunction with the sun and then she rose as a morning star after that. Um, this is the day in 1945 when there was the kiss at Times Square. Times Square, the kiss at Times Square. Is Times Square is where they host the New Year celebration? The kiss is the, on the cover of Time magazine between the sailor and the nurse. And it was because the war was over, okay? So this is a time clock, time clock, you guys, squared, squared, a times square, the kiss at times square. Okay, so all of these have um, similar meanings. Times square is where we hold New Year's. The war is over. Um, it was World War II was ended. That's why the sailor kissed the nurse. Um, okay, so I see this, you guys, as plan B, the green, as plan B. Plan B, we've talked about it before. It, it's when God comes in the woman, because when he came in the man, there was no fruit produced. Okay, he came in man first, that's first man, Adam. When he comes in the woman, there is plenty of fruit produced, okay? And then the red, April 15th and April 25th, I see as Christmas, plan A. Now, um, this is, both of them I see as beautiful blessings for you. Beautiful rewards is what I see them as. And we're talking about gold and silver rewards, okay? So, Guys, April 22nd is also the Passover, right here, guys, right here. April 22nd is also the Passover on the Jewish calendar. So we have definitely just been prepared. These things are repeating in the sky because we had Passover for on the Gregorian calendar. Um, we had the lunar eclipse. We had the solar eclipse. We had, now we have the Passover on the Jewish calendar. These are things are repeating. It's the cycles. We've going, been going through dress rehearsals for many, many years. The cycles are now right on top of each other. And that's because we're at the pinnacle. We're at the point where these things are occurring. Okay. Okay, guys. So at the, um, 411, 411, we had all of these dates converge, and that's how I'm putting my calendar together in the future, okay? Because I know what happened on all of these dates, okay? What we had was a potential for this. What occurred was the turning over of the frequency, the currency, the energy, so that the lower energies can no longer rule and it is the higher energies that are ruling in the marketplace now. Um, there, there are many things that are represented by the public. This is a agora in Greek. It means the public building, the public marketplace. On the world scale, these things are now happening is what it means, okay? 
This also, you guys, this is a red giant. Look, he's bigger than everybody else. And he exploded on this day. Okay, the red giant in the sky is um, Betelgeuse. It's Orion. It's Orion. Orion in Hebrew is Kaseel, and it means the fool. Orion the hunter. Okay, Orion the hunter is Kaseel, the red giant um, exploding. Okay, what happens when a red giant explodes is that it produces many little stars. So what is happening is you are creating stars yourself. Um, your red beast has, the husk is falling all, off of you because you have exploded, okay? And what that means is that you're producing many little stars are coming from your ecstasis. Your skin that just was sloughed off of you is producing many little baby stars. You are gods and you create in your own image. You are creating the host of heaven in your own image. Stars are hosts. Stars are hosts. Now, what you have been, guys, is the big host. And you have many little guests in your temple, in your mansion, in your Rahab, which means uh, many rooms, big, spacious rooms. Um, you have made yourself a mansion, okay? And you are housing many guests, which is the word host, you guys. And it's also the word ghost. You have created many ghosts in your own image. You have just birthed many spirits in your own image. This is how God creates. He creates in his own image. Now, if you're going to keep the red skin, you're going to produce many little red spirits, which we like to call the demon spirits. The, it's the hunter spirits. It's the Esau spirits, and the spirit is saying to me, it's the dwarf spirits. The dwarfs are the ones that um, fashion iron, metal, metal, into um, tools for war, okay? Um, we That is no longer useful. So... What you need to be is an alchemist, and you need to transform the base metals into silver or gold, okay? Um, but if you are a, a blue giant, let's say, and you're exploding, what you are producing is many little bright, shining spirits. It's the red and the white. We've talked about it a lot um, so you have a red garment that Jesus is clothed in, or you have a gorgeous garment that Jesus is, is clothed in before he goes to the cross. Right, guys? Luke, in the book of Luke, he has a gorgeous garment, which means clear, transparent, shining. And if you have become that yourself, you are producing many little angels, hosts, in your own image. So whatever is happening from now forward is going to be a reflection of your own heart. And this is where judgment might come in. Do unto others as you would have done unto you. Okay? So you don't want to be judging in your heart. You don't, you don't want any of that. You want that God um, cleaned out that idea cleaned out and you want to understand that everybody's innocent. Okay. What these little hosts are, we call them fairies on the channel and it's little atoms, last man atoms. Okay. And they go out and they do the work for you. So what this is, I'm seeing um, strings attached to all your little baby stars. Okay. So I'm going to say that you are the puppet master and it, 
it's according to your movement. Movement is definitely uh, part of this, your flow, your energy, that these little stars are going to go out and do your bidding. They're going to do your bidding. Um, they do the work for you. It's consciousness. And what it is, is the ethers, right? Ethers are the spirits. Ethers are spirits. It's alcohols. They're the spirits. This is the new wine. It's spirit, right? You guys, liquor, alcohol, it's called spirits. These are the new wine. This is the new wine. And what it is, is ethers. It's the energy of consciousness that the uh, spirit wants me to say fractals of you, fractals of you that are going to go out and do the work for you. This is how you become a magician. It's that you send out your troops and they go and gather for you what your greatest desire. This is how you manifest now. This is how you're going to manifest things. Now, why these little ghosts, the little ones created in your own image, why they are serving you is because you are their host. You are their mansion. You host them in your temple and you give them free room and board, free room and board. And in exchange, this is a perfect exchange now, this is the exchanging. This is the scales of justice, okay? In exchange, they go out and work the field. But this is what they were purposed for. This is their niche. See, they harbor in you. You are their safe harbor. You are Noah's Ark. And they go out in their niche, their purpose. This is the new order of stars, okay? They are your satellites. Thank you. They are your moons. They, they go out and uh, do the work for you, but it is their purpose. And there is absolute and complete joy in doing so. All of us have a different purpose. Paul says there are many glories of the stars, you guys, the sun and the moon and the stars. They all have their different shine. They all have their different purpose. They all have their different niche. And so what is meant for them, they will do. I believe that what is meant for me is to help the animals. It's why even as a little child, I had to sit at the dinner table until eight o'clock at night because I refused to eat the meat. And so part of my niche is to help the animals. Okay, guys, but other People have other niches, and this begins a whole new system, a whole new order. It's a hierarchy, and it is a, um, a Melchizedek. It is the king of righteousness. He is putting everything right in its proper order. It's also mother, trophy, wife. She is the trope. And she knows how to organize things. She knows what everybody's purpose is. And so the whole cosmos is rearranged according to everybody's purpose, everybody's niche. Okay, guys, everybody's niche. Okay. Um, in that, I see, I see a blessing and I pray that this is, Right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So as you know, you guys, Samson was a judge, but we studied him deeply. Samson was a Nazarite. He took the Nazarite vow. He was a judge. Okay. Now listen to this. Daniel. Daniel apparently was a Nazarite also. He also didn't eat meat and drink wine. His name, Dan, means judge. So he also was a judge. Okay. There was a grave error between the two of them. Daniel went into the lion's den and we studied this and this is how I know. And he was not killed by the lion. This is because you are creating in your own image. 
I swear to you, if you are a pacifist, if you are one of the Prince of Peace, if you are not violent, and if you are not ready to battle any enemy, because you understand that the enemy was already destroyed by Jesus' death, if you know that there are no enemies ever, and that makes you a pacifist, nobody to fight, never, ever fighting flesh and blood, never. The lion, the language under that term in Daniel is amazing. I'll never forget it. Um, it's an image of a lion is what it says, a picture of a lion, guys. And because you are producing in your own image, he will not be aggressive towards you. The lion did not eat Daniel. And this is because Daniel stuck to his vow. He knew what he was doing. Samson, on the other hand, killed the lion. We talked about how Samson got haughty and prideful. We talked about that. I have teachings on my channel if you want to look at them up. You should look up Samson, possibly, and uh, Daniel in the lion's den, okay? Um, Samson was haughty. He became proud in his vow. And he was, he went and he rent the lion in two or whatever he did. He killed. He was supposed to come at no dead animal, come at no dead creature. That was part of his vow. And then he killed the lion. This is why Delilah, whose name means choice vine, this is why Delilah was able to cut his hair. Okay. So if you um, f find that you might be a Samson, coming at dead creatures when you're not supposed to, guys, all that happens is um, Judas and Samson. That's all that happens. And it's a beautiful, beautiful um, plan of God is that all you have to do, your eyes are put out. This is blindness. This is not understanding. That's all it is. And what he has to do is he has to go back and grind at the mill again. And in the end, Samson gains back his strength. And he knocks down the pillars, which, trust me, it, he gets into the gates. He gets into the gates. Judas, guys, it, it's the same story for Judas, and it's a wonderful story. It, I see it as the silver medal, okay? Judas, um, what did he do? Jesus handed him a sop. There we go again with the food you are eating. At the Last Supper, Jesus hands him a sop. And he takes it, and you know the rest of the story. He betrays Jesus, you guys. Again, all about the appetite, again. Judas, though, he gets the silver, right? And then he goes and he hangs himself. It, it, it sounds very dramatic, as all the Bible does. But all he is doing, hanged man, hanged man. He is simply going back to be suspended, suspended. Now, suspended means pending, pending in the courtroom, pending your jury, the jury's out. There, it's a hung jury. In the courtroom, nothing has been decided for you. All you do is you go back around again. You grind at the mill again to try to get your mind to reconcile with the heart of God. And so you go around one more time. And I, I do see this as the um, silver. And I'll tell you why. It's, it's because in order to learn what gold is, 
you have to have a contrast. In order to learn God's heart, you have to have the understanding of God, but without the heart, without the connection. You can see this as wisdom because God is very, very powerful. In fact, the word lion means hero. God is our hero, guys. But one didn't make the connection. He, he trusted more in the flesh, in the muscle, in the ways of the world. And when that happens, then you can see the opposite. Oh, this is what God's heart looks like. It's a little bit different than this. They're twins, but there's a little bit of a difference, okay? So this understanding, you guys, we've had it before. It's literally in the language under the word eclipse. And so Judas will be eclipsed. Silver means eclipse. Judas will be eclip eclipsed for a time. That hunter, that firstborn, he will be eclipsed. And Jacob and Zerah will come and take his uh, birthright, the firstborn blessing, okay? But then Judas is going to come back. All he's doing is waiting another go around, another go around. And there's still much suffering in the place of Judas. It's not like he didn't take his stripes, guys. At least he did, but he didn't take 40. He took his stripes, but he didn't take 40. He's halfway there. And and he I just see that Judas will will make it. Okay? And so will Samson. Okay. So in this, guys, what you did though is you took your stripes. Um, and your skin was tanned, tanned. Your hide was tanned. It's the tannin, which is the sea serpent, which is wormwood, guys. You took your stripes, okay? And that, it's a gelding because this is all about the circumcision. It's a gelding. Gelding means to cut off the male part of a horse. Gelding, you became the eunuch. You were circumcised, you guys. Okay? It, the word gelding, though, it, it's going to be transmuted. This bloody, because that's what gelding means. It means blood red. Bloody red is going to turn into a gilding. Gilding means covered in red, but it means covered in gold. You are tanned because you have sat so close to the sun. You took your whippings, you took your burnings, and it has tanned your skin, turning you into gold. Okay. The other colors that we have going on here are the fair maidens, fair. Daniel, was his skin was fair, F-A-I-R. And in that language, all of the bloodline of Christ um, has the fair skin. And there's something different about them. Daniel, uh, David had it. Rachel had it. Many, many, the fair maidens. If you go search the word fair, you'll see how many people had it. Okay. Um, and what this is for us... Okay, the, the affect is your countenance, your affect, bright and shining. This is what the Christmas affect is going to have for you. It's, it's peace. This is the peace sign, okay? This is the rook's foot. The rook's foot, the bird of prey, is uh, coming to rapture you, <laughs> okay? Okay. Um, the, this is what you have, you guys, is milky white skin and blushing. It, it, the blushing skin of innocence, 
Milky white is fair, nurtured from the right mother. Mother, not cow. You're not a baby cow. From the right mother. You are nurtured from the right mother. Okay? That's the milky white skin. And then you, it's, uh, it's the nape of the neck. It's the uh, marrow, a plasma in your blood. It's the plasma in your blood. But you are a mix of the sky and the star beings, the sky people, and Mother Earth. And um, what that is, is the red clay, the red blushing, the blushing of innocence. And that's what fair means. Okay. On another level, the eclipsed ones, they have the same language, but it's paleness, wantonness. Um, of the skin, sickly still, okay? And the red is that fiery anger, hunter red, okay? The clay that was fired, remember, that's first man Adam, okay? Adam means red, okay? So these two mixing together, it's a beautiful balance for you of the earthly and the heavenly, okay? It's also the, the necklace because the lion's mane means necklace, guys. Lion's mane is a mushroom that helps you to remember. And where we're at is the lion's gate. Remember, eight, August 3rd is... April 11th, so five days after August 3rd is 8-8, which is the Lion's Gate. So that's another date that's highlighted on my calendar, and it's because we're, we're at the Lion's Gate right now. Okay, Maine is getting your hair back, Samson. Your hair grows back, okay? Main also means necklace. So what metal are we getting here, guys? Remember, I had thought that we're going to be getting both. The silver and the gold. Okay? The silver and the gold. This is silver and gold. Okay? You're, you're going to be getting your metal and it's according to your metal, M-E-T-T-L-E, -E, which means courage, and courage means cor, corazón, heart. It means heart, according to your heart, okay? Okay. Okay, let me see if there's more. Okay, one last thing, guys. This, when they cut off your head, right, the, the birds of prey <laughs> are the Pharisees, and they, they came after you with their pitchforks. Um, it's their rooks, you guys, uh, which is their kites. They're, they're birds of prey. Um, it's their prayers that judgment would come down, right? A lot of people are, are praying for judgment day, okay? Um, they cut off your head. It's, it's also your circumcision for the eunuchs, guys. And remember, we said that this, he was going to take these corners that they cut, dismembered you, right? Dismembered. They cut off your wings is what they did. He was going to turn it into a win, which is a score. The four corners is a win for you. A score is a hatch. A score is a nick. Um, and that's what I'm seeing, a, a big win for you on tax day, April 15th. Kite is a, it is literally like a um, bad check. It's a bad check, a kite. A bird of prey is a kite. 
and the ones who have bounced their checks, meaning they have no funds in the bank, um, there's no film to develop on the film strip because they have purposed to abscond guys leaving the rest of the world to demise and that that's not the heart of God either. Okay. Remember that the word, um, faggots comes from, which is our bundle of sticks, which is the Christmas tree comes from the word sconce and sconce. It's those that are going to be ensconced, which means they're going to abscond. They are going to be able to escape, okay? At the point of departure, okay? So whatever that means, I have no preconceived notions. Um, we're going to see how this week plays out. Again, these are processes, you guys. Um, we're not sure what they're going to look like and when they're going to conclude until we get to the other side. Okay. Okay. That's all. I, I know there's more, but I, it's been a long time that I've been off of YouTube here. I'll come back when I have more. I'll see you then.